picks up the schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Delaware's Scorch Ecliptic Butchery on 20 bucks spin records. Can't wait to see these guys tonight with fucking horrendous Daiva and fucking Tomb Mold. Sold out in Philly at Kung Fu Necktie. If you didn't get a ticket, I feel bad because it's going to be fucking savage tonight. Can't wait. Was just in the mood to play some Scorched, even though it's only been like, I think, four weeks since the last time I saw them. But I love getting to see Scorched live. It's always a fucking blast. And getting to see Two Mode for the fifth time, very stoked getting to hear some of the new horrendous material live as well and this is going to be my second time seeing Daiva uh, getting to see their first show ever at Migration Fest it was great but time to go over some new absolutely amazing putrid heavy as fuck death metal from Head Split Records coming out of Finland this is an awesome duo right here. They're working on getting some more zombified troopers to play live and whatnot. And I'm talking about Skull Maggot hailing from Finland with their debut, Skulled to Death. One of the coolest album titles I've heard in a minute. Skulled to Death is a total love letter from Finland to early U.S. death metal, especially early Cannibal Corpse, early Deicide slash Among. I would also say some brutality. There's actually a lot of brutality you'll hear on here, not just regular brutality. I'm talking about the band brutality, but also if you're a fan of fucking Torture Rack, Yo, this is like getting pretty much almost a new Torture Rack album. It's kind of along those lines of early Cannibal Corpse worship, but like with their own, you know, flair to it. And Skull Maggot just kill it here with this debut full length, Skull to Death. And these guys have been around since 2015. I went and checked out their original EP. Great, great stuff, but this nice hard shell on Head Split is just fucking sick. I'm not sure who's doing the European release of this, but this like piss gr yellow tape is just like, oh man, it pretty much gives you a prelude of what exists within this bad boy. Like, I know I say that term a lot, I, I try not to, it's just like. I always say that, like, about handrails even. I'm like, ah, like, I'll, I'll jump on that bad boy. It's just a stupid word I use. I do apologize, but if you've noticed, there's not a typo here. This is how Skull Maggot spells their band name. Missing an L and missing, you know, another letter as well. It makes me think back to when I was in Skeleton Proof Tanks. Now I'm like... Maybe that was a clever band name. Like, maybe it wasn't so stupid. Or was it stupid? Like, because I am doing a reissue, and it's going to be under just SPT, but part of me is kind of thinking to maybe just fuck up some of the lettering, because we did play a show where, like, it was Skeleton Proof Tanks, but it was spelled P... R-U-F like proof it was like a DIY crusty basement show but that's beyond the point Skull Maggot play awesome US based death metal from Helsinki Finland and it's fucking great like seriously some of the early immolation influences as well are very prevalent and just sick. They're pretty easy to pick out, but like most of all, I hear tons and tons of Chris Barnes error Cannibal Corpse. And it sounds so fucking good. Same with Brutality. 
they like this, this just oh my god you could tell these guys really love early 90s US death metal and they just managed to do it in a way that sounds fresh yet putrid and just reeking of total fucking pure death metal and this is also a giant fuck you to bands that just rely on pro tools drum triggers etc fuck that shit sometimes like yeah as gnarly as the new hate eternal is it's just like part of me I, I, I do miss that like uh, King of All Kings kind of production like it was kind of polished but not really it still kind of had this like wet blanket you know 90s death metal feel to it but then Hate Eternal became its own fucking monster and whatnot. but Skull Maggot nothing along those lines whatsoever what you get here is kind of straightforward death metal just done so fucking well like Skull Maggot like you know, coming from the Finnish death metal scene, I was expecting this to really, you know, reek of, like, early sentence and, you know, bands of that nature. So, like, when I just started hearing, like, some stuff that sounded, like, straight off of, like, Butchered at Birth, I was like, yo, this is awesome. And, uh, as soon as Head Split threw this up on, um, their 3 for 20 deal, I was like, you know what, fuck yeah, like, I, I need to snag this, like, it's totally worth it, it sounds amazing, and yeah, it sounds great on cassette as well, digitally, it's awesome, but fuck, man, uh, I'm gonna look up, because I'm not sure if Extremely Rotten is doing the European release of this, but I will find out who's doing a European release and I'll put a link below if I can find it but if you're a fan of death metal you're gonna love Skull Maggot like seriously I, I can't really you know say too much else like you know if you're a fan of just that primitive style of death metal with a primitive style of recording that just reeks of like early 90s yeah you can't go wrong here with Skull to Death. Every track on here is just fucking pure goddamn fire. Just once more, I kinda just wish it was like two tracks longer. Eight tracks is great. It's a perfect length. Don't get me wrong, but this is just so good that you want more. And that's what's so great about like, you know, cassettes sometimes. Because like, You'll find a song on here and just be like, well, I'll just listen to the whole thing again and get to it. And then you find out that the song before the track that you wanted to listen to is equally as fucking sick. And then next thing you know, you're just rewinding and then fast forwarding and rewinding. And it's just fucking sick because you have to listen to it. Or you can skip it, but I prefer to just listen to an entire cassette front to back. That's why sometimes I prefer 7 inches. Because not all the time do I want to listen to an entire demo. Especially if I only like a couple tracks on it. I just think it's great to just be like if I prefer a B-side more than an A-side. Instead of rewinding and whatnot, I can just throw it on the turntable and boom there you go but with skull maggot you're not going to be skipping anything on here you are just going to be fucking crawling back for more after this totally pulverizes your body into fucking dust so yeah get into some skull maggot from finland and actually get pounded into dust by some total Americanized 90s death metal worship from the land of a thousand lakes that isn't Minnesota. I'm talking about Helsinki, Finland. Skull Maggot on Headsplit Records. Fuck yeah.
Probably one of my favorite tracks on here has to be Terror Barn, Body Varial Error. I, I think that's such a sick, like, play on words, like, Body Varial Error. It, it, it's, it's clever. I, I think it's sick. And then, like, Gastrointestinal, I mean, uh, Gastrointestinal Armageddon is another just fucking sick, foul, reeking tune of death and I love it alongside Scuzzle and the opening track on here Come Culprit it's so good like I can't get over how sick Skull to Death is so get in the Skull Maggot on Head Split Records here in the States and hopefully I can find out who's doing the European release and I'll put it in the video description okay but Finland Skull Maggot, if you're a fan of early Cannibal Corpse, Brutalize, I meant Brutality, but if you want to get brutalized, fucking blast this, but yeah, if you're a fan of early Cannibal Corpse, Immolation, Brutality, and even Torture Rack, get into Skull Maggot, you're gonna fucking love this. American cassette on Head Split Records. Total fucking fire on this awesome piss yellow tape. I love it. And we were blasting Delaware's mighty death dealers in Scorched with Ecliptic Butchery. And I can't wait to see Matt, Matt, and company tonight. <laughs> Sick, sick, guys. I love that promo photo. And I love these Delaware Death Dealers. Gonna be a sick show tonight. Every time you get to see Tomb Mold is amazing. Same thing with Horrendous. Can't wait to hear some of the new material live. Tonight's gonna be a fucking blast. And this Skull Maggot tape, Skull to Death, is a fucking blast. This is one of my, at the current moment, definite one of my favorite releases especially of the week but probably of the year this is really really good I do need a little bit more time with it just to really see where this is going to fit in on my death metal year end list but Skull Maggot welcome aboard you made it with Skull to Death fuck yeah for a debut full length this is amazing right to the point just so sick i can't get over how good this is and thanks for watching and you know in case you haven't yet gotten into the new scorched album ecliptic butchery on 20 bucks spin do it and yeah thanks for watching as always you guys fucking rule Peace.